Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Love all my subs. Thank you all so much for hanging in there with me. Um, again, if you're first or if you're just tuning in now, this is my testimony, growing testimony, and whatever God is going to do with this channel, it's just been incredible just to see the growth over the past four years or so. And yes, all glory to God on what he's continuing to do in my life and just continuing every day, step by step to form me into the image of Christ. It's just, it's really incredible. Um, I love, I love um, just his grace and that we can draw near to him. Uh, we can cry out to him and he does hear us and he does answer us. So don't lose heart, everyone. I have been going through it. If you all could be praying <laughs> for me. Uh, I really hope that this video does resonate for you all. Um, yeah, I just, um, I don't know. It's a lot of heavy messages today, but, you know, all glory to God. And it's funny because, you know, like the different like prophecy I was getting, you know, back in the day, it's like coming full circle now. Like there was stuff and words and things I was getting like way back. And now I'm like, oh my goodness, like that's what the Lord was trying to tell me about. So, um, it's really heavy, you know, God, he reveals certain things to certain people. Um, I don't know, know necessarily if I could handle it, <laughs> um, but by God's grace, you know, he gives us these things. So I just, uh, pray that I would continue to be faithful in, um, just delivering different messages and, you know, ministering to the people I need to and yeah. Um, just walking humbly with him. I know, um, yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, this, this walk is not for the faint of heart. It is not a joke. This is not a game. God is not playing, guys. So, yeah, I, I don't know. God have mercy on us, seriously. Um, it's just getting crazier and crazier out here. And I know there's just, like, a lot of confusion. And I remember, you know, in James talks about envy plus self-seeking self equals confusion and every evil thing. So there's that, you know, envy, self-seeking, it leads to confusion and every evil thing. So um, I encourage you all to kind of, you know, do a self-assessment in your own lives and see, you know, what are we, you know, there are certain, there's a fruit of the spirit, right? So love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control, faithfulness. And um, yeah, we should be walking in step with the Spirit if we do have the Holy Spirit in us. So um, that is a call to um, just keep our eyes on Jesus, focus on his grace and his love, and um, letting that shine through no matter what situation we find ourselves in, you know. Um, and like I said, we all have different callings. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I, I don't know what the Lord is going to do with this channel. I, I hope it blesses someone in some way. I don't really know. <laughs> I've been flying by the seat of my pants, uh, <laughs> ever since making this channel. And it's just been, it's been a crazy journey. So thank you all again for hanging in there with me. But I wanted to talk about the, um, different word I was getting. So, well, the other ones is only for a specific few that I, I don't really need to tell the story. But um, for scent, I thought this was so amazing. So I was reading an expositional commentary of John, and this was by R.C. Sproul. And this was a couple nights ago, and I was reading it. And it was talking about John chapter 9, where the blind man, he's been blind his whole life, receives his sight. And so Jesus, you know, takes a spit, puts it in the ground, you know, puts it in the dirt, rubs it on his eyes. He says, go to Bethesda, the pool that means uh, scent, and, you know, wash your eyes and you'll be, you'll receive your sight. So he does this, and of course he receives his sight. And so the name of the pool is scent, right? So the very next morning, I go to church, and right up there on bold letters in our bulletin is, you have been sent. 
and I was like, whoa. Um, and there were a couple of situations this week where I was like, well, I was sent by God for that, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, yeah, I love y'all so much. I'm praying for y'all. I really am. I think there's, you know, things trickle down from the spiritual to the physical. So I think, you know, there's, there's just things that we're just like, oh my gosh, like what, it, why is this happening? But you know, there, there is a sp spiritual element to that as well. Um, you know, and no matter how, how alone we feel guys, just know that you're not alone. Um, that the Lord is with you, you know, through whatever you're going through. Okay. This, like I said, this is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> okay. Um, we have to be in God's word continually, whole armor on, up armored, like every single day. Um, this is not, um, this is not easy. So I say that to encourage you all, but I thank you all for encouraging me as well as I've gone on this walk. Um, you know, and the Lord knows who he needs to send in our paths to encourage us. But, um, yeah, it's just been really great. And there have been some praise reports this week too. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I can share this on the air. Sorry. Um, but my commander, <laughs> my commander, the one who started this whole journey, um, I reached out to him. Was it last week? And I was like, hey, you know, just thank you for everything. You were a great leader. And, um, you know, he reached out and was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm humbled that you would, uh, speak about me and you know it's just really really you know good good closure and good like um I don't know it was just cool <laughs> I'm really grateful that was a, a a cool praise report um I don't know I feel like sometimes people just don't know the impact that they have on your life um and I, I really hope that is my my prayer that I would positively imp impact people's lives. I don't, you know, I don't want to negatively impact people's lives, but I do, I do want to speak truth and love. Um, that, it, that is so important because even, you know, God's word is considered hate speech nowadays. So <laughs> we need to be speaking truth and love, but also not compromising the truth, which is, you know, we, we just need to be on guard for that. But, um, guys, I love y'all so much. Please like get with me offline. If you need anything, if you need prayer, um, I, I mean, y'all just lift me up time and time again. So I am just so appreciative and just so in awe of um, just how God is using this channel to bring us together. Um, and I'm going to read scripture for y'all as promised. So this is Psalm 46 and I, I just think about sticking to your guns, <laughs> you know, especially, you know, when we're, we're following Christ, it's like we're turning our eyes to Jesus and I think of that song, you know, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. It's so beautiful, um, and it's so true, because if, you know, you, you're looking inside, you're going to be depressed. You look at the world, you're going to be distressed. But if you look at the Lord, you're going to be at rest, and that is 100% facts, <laughs> you know, um, because... Sometimes, I mean, we can never get to the end of ourselves. It's just, you know, constantly, um, am I doing enough? Am I good enough? Like, you know, and it's not, um, praise God, we don't have to rely on, are we good enough? It's like, is Christ worthy? And he is. He is worthy of it all. So I really hope that encourages some of y'all. I, um, I really, I really do appreciate y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read Psalm 46. And it is, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and, roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah. There is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come behold the works of the Lord, 
who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will, will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. I love that. Um, I just love the word refuge. You know, he, he is our refuge. We When we need to escape, you know, we know we can hide in the shadow of his wings um, and take that refuge. I love it. <laughs> it's so great. And there's just so much peace, y'all, um, with with sitting down with the Lord and, you know, just being real, having those real conversations um, and those candid conversations with him because he, he does hear us. He hears us through all the, you know, the tears and the sorrow and the, the anger <laughs> and all those things. Um, but yeah, I really, I hope y'all are well and yeah, we'll see y'all next time.